Welcome back, fuckers. All right, so we are just about to get a rearm. I'm gonna do that right now. So we just literally landed uh, from the first sortie, failed seed attempt. So this is gonna be seed attempt number two. Uh, we're gonna bump our chaff back up, get our fuel back up, and this is the loadout we're going for. Uh, so we're gonna put a lightning pot on. What the fuck? I think 29 locking us up. Interesting. Uh, bomb. So we're gonna go on the inboards. Uh, let's go two and two. Two CBU 97. So we've got four total. We're gonna remove the pylon. Oh. Come on. Remove the pylon. Remove the pylon. Remove the pylon. So that's our loadout. So we're gonna have inboard pylons on on the aircraft. Uh, and the outboard ones removed. Wingtips, so we've still got AIM 120s for self defense. So we've got a way to defend ourselves if we do get jumped. That's what we're going for. And we're gonna try and do a, uh, a low low altitude high speed bombing run on that sam so it's going to be tough to get to and not get shot out of we're gonna to have to come out of one of these ravines here all right so we're gonna come on in we're gonna try our best to stay low and hidden as long as possible so there is some uh, some ravines we can use but at the same time there is also uh uh you know ir sams and stuff that can make our day ruined also but we got to try it because the uh, the other method that we did in the uh, the other sortie failed miserably. They shot us down, shot us down before anything happened. Mig twenty nine is locking us up. What the fuck? Where is that thing? Oh dear God. Okay. Well, while we're waiting for a refuel, let's have a look at the shit fight that's going down over here. Hornets. Got missiles in the air. Aim 120s everywhere. Oh no. Alright, he got wrecked. Oh dear. I literally look away and there's uh, one Hornet left. Oh my god. No Hornets left. Okay, all our caps dead. Well, that was, that was great. So we just lost two Hornets and three F-15s. <clears throat> god damn it. God damn it. This is why I don't trust AI. Because they're fucking dumb. They're fucking dumb. We just lost everything. All right, well, uh, that's going to make our job even harder. Where's our... Um... Yeah. These guys are almost on station. Probably gonna probably gonna lose that those two as well. All right, so getting rearmed now. So boom, CBU's on. Our pylon should be getting removed, which they are. Put our speed brake back in. All right, should get a rearming complete. There we go. And we're going to do it again with no cap cover because cap apparently uh, can't do their job. 10 AMRAM loading motherfuckers. They're, they're too slow. Like that dude was doing like 200 knots. What the fuck do you expect? You ain't going to dodge no fucking missile at 200 knots. AI. Need fucking work. All right, up we go. Gear up. Okay, so we want steer point one. Fence in. 
All right, so we're gonna do the same game game plan. We're gonna stay low and hopefully um, evade all of the, uh, the enemy air cap cover because that would not be a good day for us. Getting jumped, we've only got two, two aim 120s. But um, even if we die, even if we die, I, uh, I don't mind. As long as we get that S300 sight, that's the main thing. We want to get rid of that, and that's going to make our life a lot easier. A whole lot easier. Alright, so let's throttle back here. Go 90. 90%. Save some fuel. We need every last drop of it to get this run in. Just fly straight into the hills over here, and then we're just going to stay low and work our way up the coast towards Sochi. And then uh, we're going to come in down one of those ravines and try and just mac run it in, line ourselves up on the waypoint. Uh, while we're doing that, actually, let's set up our weapons. Air to ground. We want SMS, uh, CCRP, and make it a pair. So we're going to drop two at a time. So we got two runs, potentially two runs to do our thing. So we need to come in low and then we're going to pop up above 1500 feet. So that they do their job. Uh, don't think we can change that. Nose tail. Weapon, no. Retro one. No. Yeah, I don't think we can. I think it's just a set thing. Alright, so radar off. Being sneaky. Let's go. Try and uh, get ourselves in here. Touch. Oop. GoPro. It'd be good in the external view if you could actually see all the gauges and stuff properly, but I could just imagine the uh, the horribleness of frame drop that you would get out of that. So, no biggie. Ah, uh, that's so annoying. We just lost five aircraft, two Hornets and three three uh, F-15s. It's got absolutely smacked. Why are our Why are our aircraft so dumb and theirs are good? Mm, not to be fair, they've lost 12. 12 aircraft, we've lost 4. Altitude. Altitude. How's our uh, choppers going? They're still doing stuff. They're still alive at least, for now. We got... We've actually capped Godada, I think. We have. Godada is blue. All right, well, that's that's a nice thing, right? That's, that's a good thing. Godada's blue now. One small positive. Godada is captured. Which means... Uh, we don't have to worry about that. We just got to push forward towards um, Sochi next. But we still need to take this S300 out. If we can get this S300, we are sitting pretty. Even though we lost a whole heap of aircraft... Um, up. It's okay. If we can get this S300, it'll be worth it.
And I think um, to overcome the stupidity of AI, I need to buy a heap of them and send like a massive swarm of them, like, you know, three flights of four, so 12 cap aircraft on station. Um, just so they've got just mass numbers and can put them on the defensive at least. Put the AI red on the defensive instead of having, you know, like two, having a wingman, yourself and one wingman, and you both can actually work pretty well together. Um, you know, you can definitely take care of a flight of four AI aircraft. Two verse four or even two verse six or eight. You can definitely, um, you can handle if you guys, if you know what you're doing, work together, work well. But uh, apparently AI, no, no deal. All right, let's bump the throttles up here. And we're going to start working our way up, up towards the site. Pull up. Pull this little guy right here. Altitude. Just make sure I don't crash into a, uh, where is it? Pull up. No, I don't want to. All right, let's put ourselves on attitude hold there. Let's have a quick look. Um, where are we? Over? No. You want here. So left click and then left control F11. There we go. That's what we want to. That's what we want to take out. So zoom in, zoom out. That side there, we're going to do a, uh, a CBU run on that bad boy. And if we can get a CBU to go right over the top of that, that will um, do some good damage to that. If it doesn't take it totally out, it'll definitely um, disable a lot of stuff. So that's our, our ships. Launching. Zoom out. Launching its holy fuck. Alright, we we need to see that. Ship missiles. Oh we got anti shipping. Uh oh. That didn't look good. I think we just lost a uh We just lost a uh, Apache. Shit, son. Losing shit everywhere. Now I'm gonna buy Apaches. So we're learning from this. We're learning from this mistake. So it would have been a whole lot better if, if this works, if this strategy works. Um, we're definitely gonna keep that in mind for the next time we need to take out an S300 battery like this. And we've got mountains to, to help us kind of terrain mask behind. Um, because ideally, we would want to, if, if this works, just do a, a, a fast run in there, take it out, and then get back as quick as we can, rearm for cap, and then um, get back up there and do some cap escort with the other cap aircraft, thin the herd, and then jump into either an F-16, F-18, Harrier, or a, uh, an A-10 for the ground attack mission once the, uh, the air threat has been dealt with. But uh, it's hard to find good help when you're dealing with AI. You know, what's the saying? It's hard to soar like an eagle when you're surrounded by turkeys. Yeah, that's the fucking, that's what's going on right now. Anyways. Continue in here. So we're currently 74 mile. Bottom right there is our uh, our range. Probably should start to descend down. Actually, I go into this valley over here. Follow this one in. So we've got 7,700 pound of fuel. So as soon as we hit 7,200, we're going to punch that send line off, which means we're going to be even less draggy, have a higher overall speed, more maneuverability. 
And then uh, we've got two passes with the CBUs. So hopefully we don't need the pass, the second pass. Let's get our... Oh. Uh, TGP. But we got our targeting pod. If, if we uh, see fit, we can actually detonate a target with the uh, targeting pod and then drop a CBU off of the TGP. Right, cruising on in. Just knock this throttle back a touch. Crept up there. Ninety-five percent will be fine. So we want to get, we want to arrive in the area with as much fuel as possible, so that we have got plenty of uh, afterburner time to get as fast as we possibly can to minimise the chance of us getting smacked. I mean, there's every chance we're going to just eat shit and die. Like, I'm going to say it's like. Mm, 90% chance we die, 10% this works. That's the kind of odds I'm giving it, but we'll give it a crack. Because the other way didn't work. Right? They're just there's too many too many SAMs that can engage harms from that far away. Um, and if this doesn't work, the only other thing I can think of is to uh, use a Hornet and do this same thing here, but use JDAMs and like take a uh, a 2,000 pound JDAM GB31 and just lob a JDAM up over the hill onto the waypoint and just hope that it um, does enough damage in the uh, the splash damage, the 2,000 pounder. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So, 54 mile. Everything's configured. Master arms on. Uh, should turn the laser on for, the, for that. We are nose cold. Going all the way in silent there. Do some fancy flying. Might as well entertain ourselves while we're cruising in. Altitude. 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 It's a little bit foggy at the moment, so if it looks a little bit hazy, it's not the um, not because the gamma's up too high. It's just there's actual like a bit of a, a bit of a fog or a haze actually in the mission. It doesn't normally look this um, washed out like the the background there. It's normally a lot darker. There's a bit of fog, a bit of fog in the mission generator today. Altitude, 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 altitude. Oh, Betty, shut up. Altitude, altitude. I mean, I did know how to turn that thing off, but uh, I can't remember. So I'm not going to worry about it. We can handle listening to Betty whinge at us every now and then. So we're 37 mile from target now. Tank is empty. Um, so we're going to go SMS, select jet, and see a tank. Sorry, squirrels. Just ruined a squirrel's day. Popped an external tank into their house. So we want to kind of seem to be like from a little bit past to the north of the uh, the sands, right where those aircraft are. That's um, where we need to ingress in, and they're at five thousand feet flying around. So maybe they're landing. Maybe they're landing at Sochi. Let's just fucking pray. 
Let's pray. That they're landing at Sochi. Twenty nine mile. Think we don't want to follow this one. We're going to go up and over, or we'll go over the top here. Just have a squizzy. Because I want to come out uh, to the south of the SAM site because it didn't look like there was that much... Uh, didn't look like there was that many foothills Altitude. when we had a squiz before. Altitude. Yeah, we're going to head this way. Heading over to the Altitude. right. Altitude. Go around that way. Yeah, I reckon those aircraft are landing. Fine by me. Less shit I gotta deal with. Now death run. Altitude. So it's like just over there. Let's follow this this here ravine, valley, around, and then come out to the north, and then kind of be heading back northwest. Ah, uh, sorry, southwest towards the SAM site. Come down, stay low, and when we get close, we're going to pop up above 1,500 feet, pickle the weapon, and then fucking haul it back into the mountains before we get shot in the face. Or in the ass. But it is going to be sketchy. But I gave you my odds. 90% uh, chance we die. 10% this works. I don't have high hopes. But if it does, fuck, it'll be cool. Like a boss. Big old balls. Altitude. If you don't try, Altitude. you don't know, right? We've already... We've capped Gadada, so that's, that's a win. Gadada is captured. Alright, so we're coming up along the side. So I might go over this this hill here and then start we'll hook a left and come down. I'm down towards him. Hmm, or maybe we go down there. Down that one. That looks a bit more promising actually. Alright, fuck it. We're gonna go down here. We are committing. Altitude. Altitude. Come out of burner just a little bit. Let's get a bit of a burst of speed there. We're in a dive, so we should be still picking speed up. I'm just gonna follow this around out to the left and hopefully it opens up down towards our uh, our objective, the SAM site. If it doesn't, well, fuck, we're just going to have to make it work. So I think those aircraft have landed. Altitude. They're all gone off data link now. Altitude. We're 12 miles from target. Mm, looks promising. Let's do this. Altitude. Altitude. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Master arms on. Cap 
Fuck. Run! Oh, damn it. Alright, let's see. Oh, they're out at sea. Fuck. That did not work. Well, I mean, the execution was there. We just, um. Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck? It would have been perfect if those were uh, right over the target, but um, no. Well, I was right. 90% chance we died. All right. Well, let's go uh, let's do the uh, mission debrief of failure. Let's fucking check it. Check it out. See us in the, in the mission brief or the mission debrief in a second. All righty, guys. Here we go. So we are in the debrief. Aircraft destroyed 21. Frontline units destroyed 26. Other ground units destroyed 6. Base capture events 1. Accept results. And here is our losses. 2 F-15s, 1 Hornet, 2 Longbows, and 1 F. So we lost every single aircraft we sent out, which is fucking sweet. Good job. Um... They lost a heap of aircraft, which is nice. Okay, cool. All right. So we got Gadada. That's always nice. That's a win. A plus. Oh, we got some Millennials now. What's that? All right. So let's have a quick look. Ground forces. 10 Abrams. Okay. So we got enough, no, got enough ground forces there. Okay. This couldn't be too bad. Base mm -hmm. Intel. Cat aircraft. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Can we buy a replace? What have we got? $364 million. Let's delete all this stuff first. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, the front line is just going to town. We're gonna to cap Vaziani. Vaziani's gonna get capped without us even fucking putting a an aircraft out there. Ground forces are just ripping them to shreds. Fuck yeah, boys. Capture Vaziani. Who needs an Air Force? Unlike us with the Air Force, just getting smoked. Okay, so this S300 site is a pain in my ass. I don't know how to I don't know how to beat it. Don't know how to beat it. If you guys have got any any suggestions on how I should fucking approach this. Even though I probably won't read the comments until after I've flown the next sortie anyway. Still throw them in there because um, the more ways to skin a cat, the better. Um, what you think. You guys saw what it was. It was a uh, S300 suite with four SA-15s. Um, and we tried initially to come in and pop up launch harms at it. They shot them all down. And then we tried the other one, which was to drop a uh, a cluster bomb. With CCRP mode. I mean, I could have tried CCIP potentially. I don't know. I don't know. Because we did, I mean, it worked. We did get over, we flew over the top of them. Just our bombs went way long and we, uh, we, we still died. Um, but to be fair, I did actually pull up and instead of staying low and just, I should have just fucking hauled ass straight out. I shouldn't have turned down the coast in hindsight and just, I should have just went straight through burner out to sea and then hop back around and then uh, have another go at it if I needed to. Uh, yeah, difficult, difficult, difficult. All right, so we've got 364 men. First things first, we are going to resupply our destroyed fleet. So, oh, shit, wrong one. Buy another two Hornets. And then out of Sukumi... Go Sakumi. Let's buy. Someone did say in their comments, get some B-52s. We'll buy four B-52s and we'll, we'll try. I mean, it's not going to work on um, 
don't think they're gonna have enough run up. Actually, we'll fuck it. This is what we'll do. Let's remove them. Oh, oh, Jesus. Making my ears bleed. Remove them. Okay, so we'll buy B52s. We're gonna put them at Kogi. One, two, three, four. Four of them. Um, we're gonna buy one, two. No. Let's piss that off. Um, we'll buy the Apaches. Yeah. Make my ears bleed. Patches. One, two, three, four. So they're going to be in the next round. Um, we'll also... Fuck off. God damn it. My ears bleeding. Might buy some A10s. Uh, A10. A10 2. 2, 3, 4. No, we don't have enough money for that. Two of them. Um, and the problem now is cap aircraft. So we can sell, sell all those. So that gives us some money back. Um, what else? Sold that, that. So we got four B-52s there. We got no cap aircraft at Kolki. And then Kataisi, we can, we got the B-1s there. Oh, did not mean to do that. Um, hmm. We've got two F-15s. And we've got four F-16s. So we've got six cap aircraft at Kataisi, so we're going to have to use them for sure. Uh, just thinking. Do I sell the B-1s? Because I just bought B-52s. That's another, another 200 million to buy other stuff. Hmm, I think I'm going to sell them. I'll sell two of them. Sell two. And these A10s, um, we're not going to use them because that's, that's, that's a fucking... Fuck off. That's a hell of a flight with the A10 to get over to Vaziani. So hopefully we cap Vaziani and we'll buy A10s and put them at Vaziani and then we can use A10s to fly towards Bezlan. Um, so we're going to piss the A10s off. Let's get rid of those. Get some more bank there. We'll get rid of uh, two of the B1s. And now we're going to buy, uh, so we've got 334 mil now. We've got anything at Gadara, ground forces, base defenses. Okay. What's Sochi got in terms of front line? Fuck all. Okay. So we're going to buy some aircraft uh, and we're going to put them at Gadara. So we can't lose Gadara, though, we lose that aircraft. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. F fifteens and where's the F sixteen? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of those. And did we buy yep, two hornets? So eighteen mil left. Um let's just reinforce the front line here then. What can we buy? What can we buy for 18 million? Another linebacker? Boom, fuck it, that'll do. Uh, we're going to send these guys on elimination. Fuck it, we're just going to go full offensive. Just full send, boys, full send. And we're going to save this file. Save as uh, YouTube Elite 07. Save. All right, so that is pretty much our reinforcement plan. So hopefully we cap Vaziani and uh, take out, because what is that? It's a SA-2. And we, Vaziani would be uh, destroyed in one foul swoop without even sending an aircraft that way. Ground, ground troops are doing the, doing the shit that way. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to have to figure out how the fuck we're going to get rid of this, uh, this S-300 site. So, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. If you've got any ideas or you've seen anything on uh, that works, um, I mean, I could try the J sales, but I don't think the J sale like because it's so slow, it's just going to get shot down. Like uh, I can't remember who was saying, uh, veteran gamer, I think, um, was using J sales to lob in, and he was taking out SA 15s. But yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to work. If they're hitting harms at like you know two thousand knots. From 18 miles. I think they're going to hit a J cell at like 200 knots <laughs> gliding in. 
nice and slow and easy like but uh, yeah that is a problem for the next sortie so anyway guys i hope you did enjoy it even though we got fucking uh, fucking shit kicked in um so like the video if you haven't already and like i said leave any comments uh, on how to take that s300 side out any ideas that you reckon an s300 would uh, or to take the s300 out um and if not just leave a comment just because it helps boost up the uh, the video for youtube algorithm and helps it get more exposure more people get to see it and then it helps me grow and helps dcs grow and do that for every single youtuber that you like all right it helps them out if you leave a like and comment on their videos all the youtubers that you actually like watching make sure you do that uh if you haven't already also appreciate if you hit the, hit the subscribe button uh boost us up try and get us up to next goal is 2000 subscribers see if we can hit that um which is awesome so thank you to everyone that has subscribed already. And if you just hit the subscribe button, thank you, you legend. I fucking appreciate you. And lastly, but not least, I do stream on Twitch Monday to Friday at 1300 Australian Western Standard Time. So if you haven't already, come on in, say good day. Uh, hit the follow button there. Give us a follow on Twitch so you get the notification when I go live as well. And if you've got any questions, you can ask live on stream. Come out, hang out, give me shit. And I'll see you guys in the stream if you drop in. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.